Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO DC Superheroes 2018 Aquaman Black Manta Strike Set, which has 235 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States. Here is Aquaman, love the trident, and also this uh, Power Blast right here is included, which if you push down on that, it shoots out. Never like those. But the face print and hair is the same one from that Justice League Aquaman set. However, the torso is completely new with that nice pearl gold as is the legs with that nice kind of printing. Overall, very nice exclusive figure because I like getting different variants of outfits. It's not just a reprint of the one from that cheap Aquaman Justice League set. And if you look at the back, he does have that alternate face from that same set, as long as some back torso printing. Here is Mera, and love that aqua torso and legs. It just looks fantastic. There's a nice shine to it, and aqua is a color that's coming back, which is cool. Her face print up front is actually the same one of Jin Ursos from uh, 2016. It was reused with uh, Black Widow this year. It's not super common, but again, not totally uncommon nowadays. We also have a uh, back facial printing right there, which I think mine is misprinted because if you see that's straight aligned on the back, but on the front, this one's all the way to the right. So yeah, a little bit of a misprint, but nothing super noticeable. So here is Black Manta, and he uses a reprint of the Black Manta head mold from 2015, I think it was. His sword piece is nothing new as well, and his torso has a nice new printed design. The thing with the reprint, though, is that the last one was like this kind of gunmetal gray, I think, and this one's just a black and red. That looks cool, like an exclusive uh, head pieces in terms of coloring and everything. And I actually didn't get Black Manta back in the day, so this is much appreciated. It's a very complex head mold though. Um, look at how this works out. It's sort of like this rubber. It's a softer plastic at least. And you have a part that kind of attaches at the neck and you have a part that attaches at the head and you join those two together, put it on there and you have a very detailed figure. But also on the back, you can see he has some torso printing. So there's two builds in the set. We'll start with the Black Manta sub. So Black Manta sub is really interesting with its manta ray design because I used to love manta rays when I was a kid. Also, I love the black with red contrast, especially with this translucent red windshield up front. That's a really cool piece to get. And on the back, we do have one of these tail pieces with the little rubber end. And there are some cool little designs to this. And I like how this is not a tall vehicle. It's a very short vehicle, which gives it a more unique look. For the cockpit up top, you could lift it open very easily and it has enough room to fit the black Manta inside there. I also like how it has space for a sword at the back so that you could hold the sword. Usually with these vehicles, they don't have spaces to hold the weapons unless it's like a little clip on the side. We also have some stickers inside there on those two little one by three uh, tiles and a steering wheel, which yeah, I expected something more elaborate, but no, he just uses a steering wheel for his sub. Up front, you have these two turbines with the printed two by two with the hole inside and also a rapid fire stud shooter, which shoots out six studs like that. Great, now I'm gonna have to gather those all and put those back in. And two stickers at this front area. For some other little details, there's these little flippers on each side of the sub. And at the back, we have a sticker and also these two push missiles, which if you accidentally press those, they go pretty far. That's kind of what I don't like about the positioning of these flick missiles. They're not really well hidden in the back area. I mean, they do a good job hiding them from the front, which is good in terms of the design. But from the back right here, you're going to accidentally push it if you're swooshing it around from this tail, I feel like. Either way, that's it for the sub build. Let's take a look at the second one. So the second build is just a little reef with a shark on top. And the shark does have the newer design with the gills on the side and the head with the printed eyes. Other than that, we do have this reef design with uh, these two crystals at the bottom, which is actually a pretty cool inclusion with the pearl gold. Either way, that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. So here's the box for the set. Uh, appreciate the little Aquaman in the corner, which they also have on the side of the box and even a Lego Aquaman at the back because it's really only gonna appear in this one set. As for the instructions at the end, we do have an ad for DC Superhero Villains, the game, and also for the newer summer 2018 Lego DC Superhero sets, which includes the remote controlled Batmobile. So overall, this set is really good. The vehicle, while it's not anything amazing in terms of its build, the size of it is very satisfying for the $30 price. There's enough little details to set it apart from other builds in terms of it's kind of a unique, almost manta ray-like design. 
and that kind of makes sense because it's by Black Manta. And the little side build is just a nice addition. And of course, the three exclusive minifigures is a good thing for a $30 set. It's also something you would expect from, say, a $20 set. And I think this wouldn't really fit as a $20 set. The size of the vehicle is just enough for a $30 set. So I would rate this one an A. Again, this would have been an A plus if the vehicle just had something that would make it stand out just a little bit more. But other than that, no problems with it and definitely one of the better DC superhero sets this year. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.